Sixth level of, of wealth is property, physical assets, real estate, property, things, assets. Assets. That includes real estate. One of the best places to buy land in the whole world, in fact, the best place to buy land in the whole world in terms of value, is right here in Lagos, Nigeria. The most expensive land in the world is right here in Koya and Banana Island. Are you aware of that? That's not conjecture. That's fact. That's economic fact. Lagos is growing by 6,000 people daily. That's nearly 2 million people every year. That means that land is becoming scarce. That means if you buy land today, tomorrow your land is going to be worth very much money. Now, you may not be able to afford Banana Island or Ekoyi right now, but please go to Ejibu, Iriakari, Egbeda, Sanusi, Shangisha. Go and buy land somewhere quickly. Because God transfers wealth by giving you land. And over a period of time after you bought the land, he increases the value of the land because you being on that land, you're adding value to it. And as a result, more people want to come. Anytime there's a major wealth transfer in, in the Bible, he gives the people he's transferring wealth to land. He gave Israel land. The occupants there were just storekeepers. The Gergesites, the Ammonites, the Amorites, until Israel came. Yeah? Glory to God. I said glory to God. You will be a landowner if you believe it. Say amen. You must become a landowner if you believe it. Say amen. You have nothing in terrestrial terms unless you have land. My father bought land for something like 2,000 pounds nearly 50 years ago on Victoria Island. It was his federal government allocation or Lagos State government allocation on Akinade Shola. From the revenue generated from building that house for free, because he built it, G. Kappa built it for him and collected the rent for five or ten years, and that was the payment for the house. That house, or the two houses that he built there, paid my education and my brother's education in the finest schools in the world. Yeah? <laughs> you know, it's easier for God to anoint education than it is for him to anoint illiteracy. <laughs> Think about it. After I paid my education and generated revenue, my family decided they were going to liquidate the property. And they liquidated it. And the value that came to me in my own equity was phenomenal for 2,000 pounds. 50 years ago, it provided for me nearly the value of a million dollars. God wants to bless you with a kind of miracle that will make you speak in tongues. Because you can't explain it, nor can you define the goodness of God. You don't know what land you buy today for peanuts that will be millions tomorrow for your children to inherit. With a city that's exploding so massively as far as population is concerned, today we're buying land and there's hardly any land to buy. Tomorrow we'll be buying only floors like they do in New York. And what land costs today, floors will cost tomorrow. And there'll be 100 floors, 50 floors, 20 floors. And if you own the land underneath all those floors, you're multiplying increase for your children. They'll be kissing your photograph whilst you've been in the grave for five generations. Say, oh, we bless God for great, 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 great grandpa. <laughs> whilst your bones are rotting in Ikoi Cemetery and your spirit is dancing on streets of gold. Yeah. So number one level, wisdom. Number two, vision. Number three, level of wealth, information. Number four, reputation. Number five, relationships. Number six, real property or assets. Number seven, money. Everybody needs some moolah. Can't buy cornflakes without money. That jacket is going to cost you something. That house is going to cost you something. Money is necessary. Money is the least valuable of the seven, but nevertheless, it is of significance. Everybody needs some. Ask three people, are you got some money? And then ask them again, what kind of money you got? <laughs> the other thing that transfers in any major transfer is assets and real property. When you get land, it means God is securing your future because real estate doesn't just secure today, it secures tomorrow. My father bought land, as I told you earlier, for nothing. And it was not of much value then. But 50 years later, it's worth billions. What you buy today for millions will be worth billions half a century from now, maybe even less, with the kind of population explosion that we have. Victoria Island, nobody wanted to buy land there. It was marsh. 
was reclaimed land. But 50 years later, it's worth that property with building on it is worth a billion. We bought 25 for, for 25 million naira 10 years ago. House on the Rock bought just under 10 acres of property on the Lekki Peninsula for our worship site. We built one building, we're going to build three other buildings there. Today, without the real without the brick and mortar on it, that land by the valuers is valued at three billion naira. You should thank God I'm your pastor. <laughs> In other words, we've created an asset base with 10 year differential of 3 billion naira with just 25 million naira. When you put the building on it and it's finished and furnished, they tell me that the value will at least be 10 billion naira today. What about 50 years from now? And then you tell us that we will not be a major player in the economy. In fact, the fact that we are there has raised the value of all the other properties in the area. Because we are a market of 50,000 people attending service in a 24-hour period between Saturday night and Sunday evening. So the value of everything there is going to go up. LCC came and said to us, you are the major destination on the Lekki Expressway. I said, we? Look at somebody telling me, you have no idea who you are. <laughs> go and buy land and go and buy quickly. Because without land, you are not really a power base. Without gifted people...